Hi everybody, it's uh, Adrian Dunavine from AAA Drafting and uh, we're going to be looking at uh, SolidWorks drawings how we actually go about that uh, creating a drawing from a SolidWorks part in um, this case we're starting with a sheet metal part and um, this is a Z-Gurt uh, it's uh, very commonly used with steel cladding to hold the steel cladding on in, um, in a building application uh, but what I'm going to do is uh, create the SolidWorks drawing from this uh, uh, from this part. Uh, so it's pretty easy. I'm using uh, SolidWorks 2009 here, so um, it's really no different than with uh, SolidWorks uh, later SolidWorks versions. Um, the easiest way to go about it, if we go up here to the File menu and just press the File menu, you'll see uh, they have this uh, Make Drawing from Part and we can just press that. That brings up uh, a series of templates uh, which are uh, configured for different types of drawings. I'm just going to use the generic drawing here and uh, use some of the templates that are supplied uh, with SolidWorks. And we're going to use uh, just an 8.5 by 11 sheet or an A size. And I'm going to use the portrait uh, uh, sheet uh, orientation, uh, which makes it easy to. Uh, do these details. So the uh, I'll just press OK and uh, that takes us into a drawing sheet uh, and also if we look on the right hand side here uh, we've got uh, the views that are available for us. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, zip on over to the right view, uh, this small one here, and I'm going to drag that right view in and um, you'll see it's uh, obviously very very tiny so I'm going to have to change the scale there. So we'll go down to the left-hand side in the browser, and I'll select Use Custom Scale, and uh, pull down the scale I want to use. I'll make it one-to-one, -one, and that looks a bit more acceptable. So we'll just uh, close that, and reposition the view here just by dragging uh, the boundary to wherever I want it. I'm going to go in now and I'll zoom in on the part so I can add some dimensions to it. And I just press the uh, Smart Dimension uh, icon and I'll just do some quick dimensions here and overall width and place that dimension, adjust the position of the arrows just by clicking on them. And we'll get the uh, dimension for, uh, let's say, from here to here and the corresponding to that dimension on the bottom here, just showing that particular size. Now, one thing left, I think I better put a thickness on here, so we'll do that. So we'll just put a, click a couple of lines and uh, drop a thickness down here. So that's all there really is to uh, the dimensioning, quite simple. And now we look at the drawing and we see that really what we wanted to do was uh, have everything in millimeters. So that's not a big deal. We just go up here to the uh, options uh, selection on the toolbar and look at document properties, units tab, and I'm just going to click uh, millimeter gram second uh, to flip things over. And I'll just adjust the precision uh, for the units over to 0.1 and click that OK. So now we've got. Uh, everything in millimeters and uh, we'll zoom out a little bit and we just want uh, since this is a sheet metal part uh, we'd like to know uh, what how big the uh, uh, blank piece of metal would be that we have to fold up to make this so I'm going to drag the uh, flat pattern in I have that since this is a sheet metal part so I'll just drop that onto the paper and I'll place the view and just click inside that view and adjust the scale because that's uh, way too small the way it is and this time I'll try maybe a scale of 1 to 2 always good to use commonly accepted scales when you're doing this make it easy for the people who are reading the drawing to uh, be able to uh, scale, off it, scale off the drawing if necessary the, um, now this piece obviously is uh, uh, way too wide for the paper so I'm going to have to so what I'll do here is I'll go up to the View Layout tab and I'll look for the uh, break symbol 
and I'm going to come down here and click in the view and drop one break close to the to the uh, text there and I'll drop another one a little further down the part and on the other side as well I'm going to drop a break on the other side and drag it over here to, almost to the text and you can see this thing is starting to get smaller we just close that break dialog and I'll zoom in a little bit and now I'm going to adjust those breaks so I can uh, get this thing to fit nicely so I'll drag this one closer to the end and I'll drag the one on the right hand side closer to the end and I'm getting smaller here I'll drag that one on the left over a little bit so now it fits the paper a lot better I'll zoom in on that I'll just drag the view into the center of the sheet to make it look a bit more uh, appealing and now I'll go in and click my annotation tab and add click on the smart dimension so now I'm going to click on the one of the faces here and you see that even though the part is broken it still maintains that uh, overall length uh, which will uh, update uh, change parametrically if you have to go and change the part so that's uh, very very useful and we'll just add an overall uh, width dimension here so they know how that they have to uh, cut a 74 by 3048 strip of metal and we have some bend lines here and we could even uh, dimension to some of those bend lines if we uh, needed to so and place those dimensions uh, on there so that in a nutshell is uh, the basics of SOLIDWORKS drawings and uh, if you're just getting into SOLIDWORKS I hope that this has been helpful for you um, if you need a little bit more help then please uh, visit uh, AAADrafting.com thanks very much